I understand that to know more words from English need to learn more information like uh, Wikipedia, other encyclopedias and other 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 tools what we can use and resources. And you can learn too with me I will retell some of the articles from it, for articles from pages. Yes, I will do this. You can skip some moments when I will reading, and after that you will listen my retelling of it. Maybe you will understand more about it with my experience. Okay, let's start. Today we gonna learn about hut. Hut is a primi primitive dwelling, which may be constructed of various local materials. Huts are a types of vernacular architecture. Vernacular is an architectural style that is designed based on local needs availability of construction materials and reflection local traditions. Because they are built of readily, readily available materials such as wood, snow, ice, stone, grass, palm leaves, palm leaves, what is, branches, heights, fabric, what is it, palm leaves, ah, okay, palm leaves, branches, heights, 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 fabric or mud, using techniques passed down through the generations. Okay, what did I learn from it is... Mud. Mud. What did I learn? That hut is a so primitive. Constructions. Primitive. 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 It's a so primitive construction for dwelling, for a for be like a habitant is place to live and it is uh, so so uh, so goes down to the past so so how to say it so ageable century ageable thing is uh, architecture vernacular arch architecture and it was it they are built of uh, materials, really rare, no, rare, it's really available materials such as wood, snow, ice, stone, mud, mud, fabric heights, branches, branches of trees, palm leaves from the palm, also stones, rocks, and other things, and heights of the, our animals. A hut is a shape of a lower quality than a house, durable, well-built dwelling, but higher quality than a shelter. Shelter is a basic architectural structure or building that provides protection from the local environment. Shelter, interesting place of refuge of safety. Shelter, ah, is uh, something like a, I know. Yes, 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 it's like a cave, such as a tent and is used as temporary or seasonal shelter or in primitive societies as a permanent dwelling. Permanent dwelling. Dwelling is a place to dwell. Yes, the man cut and strip the branches, turning them over a fire and then removing the bark. Bent into a curved shape, bent, yes, into a curved shape, they are then pinned to the ground for a few days to set like this. To set like this, where? Ah, we have some of the pictures. Meanwhile, the woman hand weave the river reeds into between 24 mats per hut, which are carefully placed on the frame and tied into position. Huts exist in particularly nomadic cultures. Nomadic. Nomad is a member of a community of people without fixed habitation. Oh, Nomad, I maybe know who is. Nomad, yeah. Nomad. Nomad. Called nomadic culture. Some huts are tra transportable and can stand most conditions of weather. Okay, what did I learn? We have person like nomads. Nomad. Nomads. is place without special living place. Without special special place to dwelling yes and to live and they are using they are using this hut yes and also 
girls can use uh, some of the bending bending parts of curved curved shape of the our uh, b branches and other things else uh, our uh, hat sh shape of the hat shape of hat is uh, durable well build well lower lower quality than a house but higher quality than a shelter shelter is placed like a firebomb shelter okay word the term is often employed by people who consider non-primitive but often the designs are based on traditions of local to craftsmanship using sophisticated sophisticated architectural techniques the design in tropical and subtropical areas favor high air airflow configurations built from non-conducting materials which allow heat dissip dissipation heat dissipation heat is uh, when you hot but dissipation is maybe uh, like a uh, heat um, heat dissipation dissipation maybe is like a uh, to to decrease heat one moment heat dissipation dissipation to google it yeah dissipation to decrease heat with uh, some shadows the term house or home is considered by some to be more appropriate in the western world the word hut is often used for a wooden shed wooden shed okay western world wooden shed okay the term has also been adopted by climbers and backpackers to refer to a more solid and permanent structure offering refuge offering refuge refuge your refuge 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 okay is uh, some of the place a condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit danger or trouble this vary from simple bothies both this is a basic shelter, usual, unlock and available for anyone to use free or charge, okay? Which are little more than very basic shelters. To maintain huts that are far more luxurious and can even include facilities such as restaurants. Wow, we have some of the huts with uh, restaurants. Cool, interesting, really, because uh, it is like a from Sochi. Maybe in Sochi we have some of restaurants the word comes from the 1650s from french hotte cottage cottage wow from middle high german hotte cottage hot probably from proto-germanic hygen related to the root of old english hydrant to hide from pi cude from root sky see hide apparently first in english as a military word old saxon huta Danish Heite, Swedish Hita, West uh, Frisian and Middle Dutch Hutte. Dutch Hut are from High German. Ukrainian Hutte seems to be known from even earlier ages. Avestian or ancient Iranian origins presumably related to height, a covering. Oh, now I understand that Hutte from our... Uh, Ukrainian, because we use in, in in Russian too hot. Yeah, cool, interesting. Hot, it was a good word. Elsa equals to wooden shed. Modern use. Huts are used by sher shepherds. Shepherds when moving livestock between seasonal grazing areas such as mountainous and lowland pastures. Pasture is the land used for grazing. Pasture lands is the narrow scenes are enclosed tracts or farmland grazed by domestic livestock such as horses, cattle, cattle, sheep or swine. Trans transhumans is a type of uh, pastoralism or nomadism, a seasonal movement of livestock. Okay. The they are also commonly used by backpackers and other travels in rich rural areas rural what is rural maybe it means that it is uh, ah rural 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 is country bucolic peasant arcadian rustic 
well, agriculture, in relating to of characteristic of the countryside rather than the town. Rural. 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 Okay. Some di displaced population of people use huts throughout the war during a uh, diaspora. Diaspora is a uh, scattered population whose origin lies is separating geography locate, okay? For example, temporary collectors in the wildness agriculture workers at plantations in the Amazon jungle. Amazon jungle. Ah, okay. Somebody use it. Huts and a larger building in the form of uh, burial urns at the museum at the birth of uh, Diocletian in Rome, Italy. Drawings of petroglyphs from the Tagar culture, first millennium, millennium before century in Krasnoyarsk, Krai, Russia. Wow! Really interesting. Chozo in extra Madura, Spain. Hut in farm outside Indian village. Huts have been built for purposes other than as a dwelling, such as storage, workshops, and teaching. Ah, okay, for for making shades, shadows. Hut in a farm outside Indian village. Okay, hut in a, in Kamba, Kambalakonda Eco Park. Visa. Voltaire. Visa ha. Visa ha pa. Nam, largest city and the financial capitalist of the Indian state of the Andhra Pradesh. Okay, types. Balok, a Siberian wildness, wildness hut made of logs, usually communal, used by hunters. Logs. Logs is a big... Uh, yes. Big, um, big parts of the our, our wood. Locks usually communal, used by hunters, fishermen, and travelers in the more distant part of Siberia. Some bullocks are mobile and mounted on sleds. Wow, on sleds we can use sleds and uh, travel it. Bara bara, an an earth sheltered winter home of the Alet people. Alert people is the Alets who are usually known as Alet language by the endonyms Unangan Unangas. Or oh, the wow. Bara Bara. Bara Bara Bara. Okay, what is how it looks like Bara Bara? And uh, were the traditional main of communal dwelling used by a uh, people. Okay. Barracks, an old term for a temporary hut. Now more used as a term for military housing, and a unique high, 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 high. How to say it? High storage structure called a high barrack. <laughs> it's an open structure with a mobile roof for storing loose hay on a farm. Okay, bothy. Bothy. I I know it's inside of our. Oh. A small hut or cottage. Okay. Both the original and one room hut for men, farm workers in the United Kingdom, now a mountain hut for overnight hikers. Overnight hikers. One night stand. Okay. Borde. Borde or Borde is a type of half dugout shelter. A dugout or pit house. Dugout, also known as a pit house of earth lodge. With a roof in Romania, Ukraine. Ah, pit house. Romania, Ukraine and Canada. It's a building that is partly dug into the ground. In the rest is Zimlianka. Cabana. Cabana or Cabania. May I refer to user and t -t 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 -t, an opal shelter. Interesting, yes. Choza also spelled Chozo. Spanish for hot term also used in Mexico. Clocha. Clochan. Or beehive hut is a dry stone hut with a core belt roof. Core belt. Irish. Dry stone hut in Ireland. Earth Lodge. Native American dwelling. 
Earth Lodge is a semi subterranean building covered partially of or completely with earth. Is fully earth? Wow, Hata. Village house in Ukraine, Belarus, and southwestern Russia, parts of ancient Kiev Rus. Okay, it is I know. Hut used by South African trek boer built of red reeds, sometimes plastered with mud. mud. Horsa is the acronym of for hunting, hunting operation for the raising of the school living age. A pre prefabricated school building built to cope with additional demand from the Education Act 1944. Oh, it is fast. Fast, fast, fast created. A cabin or hut in Norway, Heite. Iglo, also known as a snow house or snow hut, is a type of shelter built of snow, typically built when the snow is easy to compact. A hut made of pieces or hard snow or ice. Iglo, igloo, or how to say it. Igloo. Igloo. Ice house. Igloo. Kolba. Afghanistan. Okay. Laying hut. Prefabricated lightweight timber was sectioned bolted together, externally clad with a plaster board and felt, designed 1940 for barrack accom accommodation. Lodge is a general term for a hut or cabin, such as a log cabin or cottage. Lodge is used to refer to a tipi, sweat lodge, and hunting, fishing, skiing, skiing, and safari lodge. Safari lodge is a type of tourist accommodation in southern and eastern Africa. Mitato is a term meaning shelter or lodging in Greek, a small dry stone hut in Greece. Ori. Ori. Ah, oh, I know. It looks like a enclosed area for gathering sheep. A French dry stone and sod hut. I know. It uh, was uh, in Hobbit movie. Pratern heart. Commonly known as Pratern's. Prefigurated building generally used in schools for classrooms in the UK after World War II. Rond Rondeville. Rondeville, Central and South Africa. Rondeville is a westernized version of an African style hut. Interesting. Shaling. Shaling also spelled shaling, shiling, and shiling. It's a hut or collection of huts once common in wild of lonely places in the hills and mountains of Scotland and Northern England. Originally a temporary shelter or hut for sheep herds. Sheep herds. Now maybe a stone building. Common in Scotland. Ah, I know. It looks like a from World Warcraft. One. It was upper side of the Pandaria. Sod house. A pioneer. Sod house or soddy was an often used alternative to the look. A pioneer house type on American plains where wood was scarce. Scarce is maybe placed, yes? Ah, <coughs> oh, scarce. Ah, oh, it no. Tipi, Central North American tent. Tipi is a cone shaped tent. Tipi. Tool hut. Coastal North American West Coast Northern Carolina. Oka, Brazil. Oka is the name given to the typical Brazilian indigenous housing. Quincy or Quincy is a Canadian snow shelter that is made from a large pile of loose snow which is shaped then hauled. Wow. A shelter made in a pile of snow. Yurt. Central and North Asia. Yurt. Yes. I know. Yurt is Mongolia. Mongolian thing. Yurt. In the Russian is Yurta. Man construction. Many huts are designed to be relative quick and inex inexpensive to build. Construction often does not require specialized tools or knowledge. Often does not require <laughs> specialized tools and knowledge. Okay, you can create without knowledge. If you will create house without knowledge, it will be hut. Okay? It is information from Wikipedia. Marketing usage. The term hut is also used the name 
to name many commercial stores, companies and concepts. The name implies a small casual venue, often with a fun and friendly atmosphere. Examples include Pizza Hut and Sunglass Hut, kiosks, or how to say it, kiosk. Kiosks may be constructed to look like huts and are often found at parks, malls, beaches or other public places selling a variety of inexpensive food or goods. Luxury hotels in tropical areas where guests are assigned to occupy their, their own free-standing structure sometimes call this structure a hut, though such huts typically bear little more than superficial resem resemblance to the traditional concept of a hut. See also architectural of Africa, both a simple shelter linked to a type of shelter. It's a type of seamless originally to the existing building with the reference leaning against another wall. Wow. Cabin and okay. Log cabin, small house, mountain hut, building that provides mountain Nissan hut. Wow. Interesting. It's a prepared steel structured for military use. Also, jo Jomi Sway hut, Romney hut, Quonset hut, Paloza. The primitive hut, round house, this type of house with a plan, usually with a conical roof, Ukrainian hata, vernacular architecture, wild harness hut, and yurt. What did I learn? I learned that hut is a place to to live, to dwelling, for people who are uh, one moment nomad for nomads especially nomads is people who don't have a specific place to live it's not homeless they are always nomad from one to second <laughs> place yes and uh, it's going from one side to other side yes else uh, our huts created by stone mud Elsa wood, rocks, hides, what more, and other available materials in this area. Also, some maybe barrels you can use other things to create it. Sometimes it it was created from branches. Yes, you can create it. Elsa, in hotels you can find hut, in s in modern, in modern marketing places you can find huts like a pizza hut or something like that. What's more was, and for pioneers, for military you can use hut, and sometimes hut is used for joking, joking on f or friendly name of the home, like hut. Oh, you are living in hut. Cool. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Now we know what is hut. And uh, learn more, retell more, and improve your English knowledge with it. With it. You can. Bye-bye.